everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you're doing well and we're going to be looking at what is happening across the North Atlantic. So on the satellite imagery here, we can see that storm system and nor'easter, which is impacting northeastern portions of the U.S. and also portions of Canada and the associated front stretches all the way into the Caribbean, which is bringing impacts to some areas. So for parts of the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Island sections of Cuba, Jamaica, even for Hispaniola as well. So we'll be talking about that. We'll be looking at the rainfall forecast for today as well as the wind forecast. And then as we look out into the Atlantic, there we can see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity kind of consolidating. So that is in association with the tail end of a front. An area of low pressure has formed and there's also a trough. So there's all that instability helping with this shower and thunderstorm development that we're seeing out here. This is not a problem for anyone right now. And then along the intertropical convergence zone, we can see all that convection to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Now let's zoom into the Caribbean here we can see all of this activity associated with the cold front seeing some thunderstorms just near the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands and then across portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic there could be quite a bit of rainfall and even flooding across some areas with those periods of heavy downpours but then as we look elsewhere across the Caribbean not seeing where there's anything much in terms of all the convection but again there are some showers coming in from the east affecting southeastern islands and for other areas it may not be anything too much but there could be some passing showers today now let's go on to the rainfall forecast here we can see it from the euro model and this is looking quite interesting here you can see that the map becomes pretty colorful for portions of the central and southern bahamas the turks and caicos islands the easterly part of cuba and sections of hispaniola especially for haiti so as all of this moisture uh, moves up to the north because of the cold front there could be a lot of rainfall activity across some areas for jamaica for portions of jamaica there may not be a whole lot of rain but for some uh places there could be some heavy downpours today so that is not out of the question but across especially the bahamas and near the turks and caicos islands there could be some decent showers so please be mindful of that as you head through today guys and in the case of flooding please do not take any unnecessary risks as we look toward the rest of cuba the cayman islands and up to florida and the northern bahamas the northwestern bahamas and over into central america not seen very much is expected down through nicaragua but as we head to portions of costa rica and panama there may be some heavy downpours today abc islands much not expected for parts of northern south america there could be some heavy rain very active in parts of colombia uh, for most of Venezuela, though northern Venezuela especially is quite dry, nothing much going on. And then for the Guyanas, some activity is possible today, some rainfall activity. Trinidad, Tobago, there may not be much, but some showers are possible. But uh, some more decent downpours are possible across sections of Barbados, as well as sections of southern St. Lucia, potentially St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and even Grenada as well. So there's quite a bit of moisture coming in. As we look towards Martin, we go into Dominica, Guadalupe. Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Martin and St. Bartholomew, even toward the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Not seen where much is anticipated as we head through today. There could be some passing showers, but in terms of any substantial rainfall, that is not expected. And so now we're moving on to the wind forecast for today. So this is a map from the Euro model. We can see some of these shades of these purples and these blues popping up across sections of Florida and the Bahamas. It may be quite windy winds up to around 20 knots or so. Also for the Western Caribbean winds are going to be coming from the north. So with this front moving through, the winds are coming mostly from the north for parts of the Western Caribbean. And we're seeing up to 25 knots there with that uh, darker shade of blue right there. So across much of the Caribbean coast of Central America, it may be quite windy today. Similar story near the Cayman Islands and things may be on the tranquil side for much of Jamaica going to Hispaniola in terms of the winds that is. Of course, there could be that heavy rainfall as we saw earlier. And then over in the eastern Caribbean, winds will not be as gusty, maybe up to 15 knots, 20 knots or so at the most. 
in the vicinity of the ABC Islands and also headed toward the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And now we're taking a look at the temperature anomaly map from the GFS. There you can see those blue shadings which indicate those below normal temperatures and this goes to later today. So that is going to start setting in across portions of Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, even the Cayman Islands and over in Central America. And then as we head into tomorrow for Jamaica, we can see those blue shadings popping up as well. Even as we head to later this week going to Friday, we still see that massive cool air around the region. And also, as we head further out, GFS is consistent about another cool down, potentially a more significant one as we head into the end of the year, Sunday the 31st of December, last day of the year. We can see some of these darker blue shadings and even these purples popping up as well. So let's see how that goes. But as I mentioned, if you saw yesterday's update, this is going to be the pattern because of El Nino. And as we head more into winter with the greatest temperature contrasts, then we'll definitely see some stronger storm systems, these stronger fronts, which move through and will likely be more impactful than what is currently being experienced. But that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update video and i hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise